Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small video on WWE 2K22. Brand new game, couple of issue for the launch. Uh, the game seems to be locked at 30 FPS when you're looking at the entrance. A lot of tearing also. Uh, and when you you play the game, it will be locked at 60 for now. Uh, I test a lot of different things and I'm not able to unlock any FPS right now. I'm not sure if they're gonna patch it, but anyway. We're gonna start with uh, Windows, how to proper set up Windows for uh, this game. And after that, we're gonna look at the game itself, how to optimize it. So let's start with the game mode. I recommend to write game mode. Make sure that your game mode is uh, at on if you have like the latest version of Windows 10 or 11. Really important. Now it's pretty good and it helped also with stuttering. For the Xbox game bar, I really rec recommend to put this one at off, causing a lot of issue crashes, stuttering and more. So don't use it. Capture, make sure background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. I also recommend if you have a NVIDIA card 1000 series or more recent, make sure that you uh, use the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You need to search for graphic setting here. It will help with bottleneck and it help with entry level video card like the 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060. Uh, so you can expect a nice 3 to 5 percent boost in your FPS. I also recommend to update your driver. So AMD, NVIDIA or Intel, just go on their website. Make sure that you have the latest version, the big games like that. Sometimes they have like a proper dedicated driver. So super important. It helps with stability, crashes and also FPS. So really important to do the update. Another thing that I recommend, it's the power plant. So write energy in your search bar. Go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like high performance or balance. Super important, not, don't use the power saver mode. Uh, normally on the desktop computer, you will not have this issue. It will be default at performance or balance. But uh, if you're using a laptop and you plug, unplug your laptop, sometimes it stays at power saver and you're losing a lot of performance. So super important to change it by yourself. Another thing that I recommend, um, it's the uh, intelligent standby list cleaner. I have a dedicated video on my channel. So just download this software. It's pretty good. It's the guy who did DDU, uh, if you don't know uh, that software. Uh, you just have to press start and it will help to uh, to make sure that your standby list is always clean. Uh, it helps also with bottleneck for your RAM. So if you have like 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig of RAM, it will really help you. If you have 30 gig, it's pretty overkill. Honestly, you will not see a big difference. But people who doesn't have a lot of RAM on their computer, it's really good. Also, it, it has a second part, the timer resolution. This helps a lot with... Um, stuttering if you have an issue of always like stuttering in any game and you don't know why uh, just look at my video i explain how to change this and how it can help you a lot for that one last thing uh the, the config file of the game uh as you can see here you have an option called vsync and it doesn't seem to work i did a couple of tests like vsync at on off i didn't see any difference i'm still getting tearing when i play the game so you really need to force the VSync on your driver from your video card. So if you have an NVIDIA card or AMD card, go on their um, software. Uh, for example, with NVIDIA, select like the game that you want to use and force the VSync at on and you will not have any uh, tiering anymore. Um, this is pretty much it. Also, texture quality seems to be locked at high. That's pretty random. I'm pretty sure they're gonna patch it. I did a couple of tests to put like one, two, or other number here. It didn't change anything. It's still stuck at high. So it does I feel like the config file doesn't do a lot of things. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So now let's open the game and we, I'm going to show you how to optimize to make sure that you have a constant 60 FPS even on a low-end computer. So now inside of the game, so first of all, uh, I was looking for the graphic parameter in gameplay. I don't know why, because probably of the icon, but it's in extra. So you need to go to extra if you want to change it. Go to graphic setting, and this is pretty much all the graphic setting in the game. So first of all, the graphic device, make sure that you have the good, the proper one. I know sometimes when you're playing on the laptop, some games are, are, are a little bit weird. They're using like your integrated GPU when you have a dedicated GPU. So make sure that it's there. Make sure that your graphic memory match with the amount of VRAM that you have. Uh, for me, I have 16,000 16, uh, meg of VRAM. 
and uh, they're saying I have 15,569. It's pr probably because they just removed the one that whatever that uh, OBS or other uh, program is using my memory. So don't panic if you see that. Texture quality, uh, this one is locked at high. So for me, that's pretty random because you don't know uh, how many like VRAM that you're using in the game and like people who have like one gig of vram maybe they will have stuttering because of that so i hope they're gonna patch it for sure they need to patch it but anyway for screen resolution i re really recommend to go native so if you have a 2k monitor just go with 2k if you have 1080p monitor just go with 1080p uh it really depends on like your monitor so don't downscale it to have more fps because you your image will look blurry so don't do that so for the window, um, I really recommend to go with no, just play full screen. It will help with uh, stuttering and mini lag and also with tearing. So just don't use the window mode. Shadow can give you a lot of FPS. So if you're struggling with your FPS and you put shadow at off, if I compare ultra to off, you can expect a nice 10% boost in your FPS, but your game will look flat. So it really depends what you want to do here. Uh, if you want to use shadow, I really recommend to use medium. Uh, be between like low and medium, I saw a one person difference in my FPS, so low is not worked. But medium is kind of worked. You you can have like a nice eight person boost, and you still have a decent shadow quality. So this is my recommendation for the shadow. Shutter quality, it really depends again on the type of computer that you're using. Are you pushing yourself with like a laptop with an integrated GPU? If if it's the case, start with I. Do all the change I'm going to show you. If you're still struggling with your FPS, put this one at medium. But this will affect uh, a lot to your image quality. So don't go too low with this one. Anti-aliasing, this is pretty much a, a simple FXAA. So not a huge impact on your FPS. If I compare off to on, it's I see a difference of 2%. Uh, percent. So uh, And also your image is not blurry and stuff. So I... I recommend to put this one at on, honestly. I didn't see a huge impact in your FPS, and also it helps with aliasing in the game and in the audience. So you can definitely go with on for this. Audience density, this one is taking a lot of resources, and you have a lot of options. You can put 0 to 100. I, and I think, can you go more? No, it's 100 maximum. Um, for sure, if you're, again, playing on a laptop, entry-level computer, go with something like... 10 to 20 if you have like a very old computer but mid-range computer you can probably do 25 to 40 but ju just do some testing if you're seeing random drop when you're fighting uh, it's probably because of the audience don't go too crazy because you can expect a nice amount of fps when you lower your audience density so just do some testing with this one but it helps a lot depth of field uh not a huge fan of this effect uh, it's just for your image clarity. Just put this one at off. Uh, you, you you won't have like more FPS because of that, but you will el it will help your image quality. And it's pretty much the same thing for motion, motion blur. Not a huge uh, boost in your FPS, but uh, you will have a nice uh, improvement with your image quality. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.